Hi everyone, here it's me again and I'm going to demonstrate another new BlackBerry Playbook application that I'm working on. Um, my previous one, Screen Major, has already earned me a free BlackBerry Playbook in the BlackBerry Developer Program. So, since I'm getting one myself, I figured I have to get more applications on it made by myself. So there we go. The next application I'm going to show you is an RPM calculator. Um, this is an application I already kind of had on WebOS, but I created a completely new user interface, especially for the playbook, and some interesting other new features. So let's have a look and fire it up. As you can see, um, maybe the old people among us, old people like me, recognize this kind of layout. It's heavily inspired by the famous HP 10C, 11C, 12C and 15C range of calculators. What I try to do is mimic the look and feel as close as possible, kind of in a photorealistic way. Of course avoiding actual HP logos in it and stuff like that, so I had to change it a little bit. Anyway, I try to make it look as cool as I possibly could, whether I succeed that's kind of up to you. Let's go for a little demonstration. As you can see, the buttons are nice and big, easy to touch. And here we are just performing some simple operations on the calculator. As I said before, it's an RPN calculator. That means the notation is a little bit different than a normal one. For example, when you want to do 2 plus 3, you would enter 2, then you would hit the Enter key. And you would hit three and then you would hit plus it's kind of like when you write it down like when you were in elementary school when you have two plus three you write a two then you write a three and then you you write a line and then the answer comes under that line that's kind of how this calculator works as well it has like an enormous amount of functionality you can uh, as you can try out yourself there's lots of stuff going on there and um, well, I'm just pressing some buttons here now for you just to show, give you a feel of what it can do. So I'm just entering some numbers right now because an RPN calculator actually has a stack. That means you never need brackets or anything like that because it remembers all the numbers that you're working with. So let's go to the preferences for a second. Here's the preferences screen. We can say, I want to I want to see what's going on with that stack, so I'm going to turn that on. And as you can see, it's kind of small, but big enough if you have the actual playbook. You can see what's going on with the stack. So I'm, I have 32 and I press enter, it gets moved on to the stack. I press a 3 here, and I press enter, and you see that 3 being moved on the stack. Now, it only we only have five stack values here we have this is X and then we have Y Z A and B but in fact this calculator has an unlimited stack so let's enter some more stuff so now we've entered some more values we only see five here but if we use the stack Explorer we get to see everything that's on that stack now the cool thing is, see, we have all we have collected all these values here, so we can perform operations on it. If we hit plus, for example, we're at 90. So now you see y is 45. So if I hit plus again, the 45 will be added to the 90. If I hit it again, y is now 2. I hit plus again, it'll be added. So as you can see, we can do really complex calculations in a really easy way with this calculator. Now, it's not completely done yet, obviously. There's still some work to do, but it's getting there. Now, another cool thing is that we have, um, let's see, if we enter a big number, hold on. You can also see that the display automatically adds separators to make it easier to read large numbers. As we've seen in the uh, preferences screen, we can actually have different ways of displaying that. This is actually not working yet, but you'll 
you'll get this option to say I don't want separators or I want the dot to be the separator and the comma to be the thing that comes before the fraction anything you want so yeah that's kind of it this is the uh, RPM calculator for the Blackberry playbook I'm actually expecting to finish it before the playbook comes out so that's really awesome now, if RIM also hurries with approving it, it may just be out there when the Blackberries in hits the stores. So, I hope you liked it, and uh, you'll see this in Blackberry App World within a few weeks. Thank you.